comfortable for you. We'll start with the band around the back, and then I want you to crisscross it in front of you, kind of right at your bra line. And then you'll hold it with a fairly tight grip, so you already have a little bit of tension on there. And then you're just starting with breathing. So inhale through your nose, exhale through your mouth. Inhale, expanding your rib cage into that flex band. Exhale, feeling your ribs almost deflate away from the band. Feels like the band is getting nice and tight on that inhale. And then a little looser on the exhale. Shoulders are relaxed and set back. We'll take two more deep breaths just like this. Now with your next exhale, add on a little pull of the band. So your elbows stay bent by your sides. Exhale, you're pulling the band apart, keeping your elbows tucked in by your sides. Getting into your external shoulder rotators. Wrists are nice and straight. Double check that. Feeling like you're lifting up and out of your hips. Going for another four. And again, just sitting however feels best for you. You could even come up onto your knees if that feels better. Finish up your last one. And then let's add in a little rotation to this. Exhale, twist as you open your elbows. Inhale back in. As you open your hands, I should say, your elbows stay tucked in. Alternating sides. Exhale, wrapping around your spine. Inhale through center. Four. Thinking about maybe lifting up through your pelvic floor here as well. Ladder muscles engaging. And then once you're even, you can shake that out. Now I'll have you uncrisscross the band and bring it up a little bit higher, almost right underneath your armpits. From here, again, you can sit however is most comfortable. I'm going to take my legs out a bit wider than my hips. Legs either long or bent. And then start with a pretty tight grip on the band. So you're holding your hands pretty close to your armpits. From here, you'll nod your chin Fold forwards as you push into the band. Inhale, bend your elbows and stack your spine. Exhale, nod. Push into the band and round your back. Stretch out your back. Hold and then stack back up. So you're not just flopping over your legs. It's an active spine stretch forward. You're nodding, you're rounding, you're staying on top of your sitting bones here. So you're not just letting your whole body go forwards, but instead you're keeping your weight right over top of your hips the whole time. Just really rounding through your upper back, almost pressing your rib cage backwards into the band. We'll go for another two. See if you can turn on your abdominals, actively taking yourself up and over like you're rounding over a big beach ball. Adding on to this one, from your flex position, keep the arms straight, lift up tall and open your arms. You can even find a slight extension through your upper back. And then exhale, round arms reach forwards, 
Inhale, arms reach out, your chest lifts to the ceiling. Round, stretch your back. And then you can even flip your palms to the ceiling as you open your chest. Feeling like the band is pushing your chest forwards as you get into that nice long position. Let's go for another three. Two. And then one more. Okay, you can drop the band finally, shake that out. Shake out the wrists a little bit. Now you're actually going to take a seat onto the middle of your band right underneath your bum. And again, sit however is most comfortable. So if it feels best for you with knees bent, feel free to stay there or go crisscross, whatever's best. Next, you're going to grab hold on to, I'll say your right side of the band, I'll do my left to mirror you. And then let's lift that arm long above our heads, take it over into a side bend, and then step right back up again. Lower the arm and repeat. Exhale, reach it up. Inhale, take it over. Exhale, back up. Inhale, lower. Reach, reach, reach. Find that length first. And then increase that length through the right side of your spine as you go over. We'll go for another three. Two. Getting longer and taller each time. Last one. Ooh, my band just got in my way. <laughs> All right, now let's switch sides. When you're ready, exhale, straight arm to the ceiling. Inhale, take it over. Make any adjustments with that band that you need to. Make sure it feels the same as it did on the first side. Almost like you're trying to press your rib cage into the flex band as you go over. Anchoring your hip down into the band. Two more. Okay, shake that out a little. Now we're not quite done with all this arm and shoulder work. We're going to grab the first side of that band again, this time in the opposite hand. So I'll have you hold that in your left hand. From here, you're guiding the elbow out and back in. We'll do a few like this just as a warm up. So the elbow leads the way. One more here. And then if your shoulders are okay with it, You'll continue that motion to find a full arm extension, and then you'll glide it back in. Exhale, lead it out. Long arm, and then back in. This time as you reach out, take a glance up at your wrist. Make sure it's staying really straight. You're moving from the elbow and the shoulder. Good work, two more. taking your sword out of your sheet and then putting it right back in. Last time. Okay, second side. You can drop that side of the band, switch it over. Again, we'll start with a few of your warm ups. So just guide the elbow out a little and back in, making sure the shoulder stays wide from the ear the whole time as you go for that one. Last time. And then full range. Inhale, glide it back in. Glide from the shoulder blade first, and then strong shoulder to find that extension. Tipping that bottom corner of your shoulder blade in and down towards your back a little bit deeper as you find that long arm. Three. 
wrist is straight. Double check. Should feel pretty smooth. If it feels a little clicky, you might want to loosen up your band tension. Or you might want to work with a different sort of range. Okay, shake that out. Back to the other side of the flex band. We're almost done. Now we have triceps overhead. So to do this one, you'll hold the band in your left hand, my right. You'll take your right arm in front of the band and then back behind you, okay? Then from there, try to angle your upper arm, your elbow up to the ceiling. Exhale, extend, inhale, bend. Try your best to stay as tall as possible rather than leaning towards that flex band. Tighten up your core. Practicing your back scratcher skills. Again, wrist is straight. See if you can feel if your wrist is bending. We're gonna try up to five more, as long as everything's feeling good. If you've got some shoulder tightness, feel free to take a break. Three. Two, getting a little taller. Last one. Okay, take that around, drop the band, shake that out, second side. Last thing with this whole little series. Arm goes in front so that the band can just go behind you. Sit tall, stabilize your upper arm as you find that elbow extension. Feel free to kind of adjust your band tension if you can. It's a little bit awkward to adjust here, but you can. Nice and tall, lift up through the pelvic floor. We've got five. Four, three, two, last one, and then take that down, drop the band, shake out the shoulders, maybe do a couple of your neck rolls side to side. And then let's go into some half roll backs. So we'll still use the band since we have it here. You'll take a seat with your knees bent in front of you, middle of the band goes right around the middle of your feet. I've just got a pop up on my screen, I need to get rid of. There we go. So, knees are bent, you've got the band, and then crisscross so that you've got opposite ends in your hands. From there, you're sitting tall with your hands pretty close to your feet, straight arms. You already have a little bit of band tension. From here, let's exhale, tuck the tail, scoop the belly and find just your C curve. Inhale, hold. Exhale, sit up tall. Roll off of those sitting bones first. Pull the belly button in, pull the ribs in. Inhale. Exhale, scoop and then sit up tall. So your shoulders are just staying nice and stable, working with straight arms to start with here. Nothing fancy about it, just warming up our spines. Let's go for another two like this. Make sure you're rolling right through the center of your spine. Check if there's any little deviations, any little wobbles that try to happen. There definitely is for me. Okay, let's add on to your next one. We'll hold that flex position down there. One elbow bends to the side, reach it forwards. Second elbow, reach forwards and then sit tall from there. Roll back first. Hold your C curve. One elbow rows, second elbow and then sit tall. So you're just doing one on each side before sitting tall again. Try to hold your shoulders square to the wall ahead, keeping your weight centered. You're not looking towards the elbow just yet. You're looking straight ahead the whole time. The only thing moving is that arm. Your chest stays square to the wall ahead. 
you're using your obliques to fight any rotation that wants to happen. We'll go for two more rounds, including this one. Good. And then shake that out a little bit. For your final round of your half row backs today, you will add in your twist towards your elbow. And we'll make it a bit more fluid too. So I'll have you roll back, simultaneously rowing one arm and looking towards that elbow. And then sit tall. Then the second side. Roll, twist, and row. Or maybe I'll say roll, rotate, and row. All those R's. Scooping, twisting right around the waistline, right around the belly button. Keeping your weight centered through the hips. If your hip flexors are starting to bother you, can you bring more connection into your core? Can you see maybe you can allow your abs to take over from those hip flexors? Let's do two more, one more each side or until you're even. Make sure you sit up nice and tall when you're done. And then you can shake that out. Keep the setup with the band. Do what you need to do to release that. And then we'll keep that crisscross band position and we'll lie down on our backs. So I'm gonna tuck my bum in. All the way down, legs can go right up to tabletop. Okay. Now holding either side of the band in your hands, I want you to hold the band with your hands close to your knees. So your arms are up. You have an imprinted pelvis, imprinted spine. And then we're just going to start here with some plows. Exhale, collarbone wide, straight arms pull down. Inhale, release. Exhale, shoulders wide and you pull. Tighten your core. Can you feel your core bracing itself as you plow? There might still be that tendency for the wrist to want to bend here. Almost feel like you're leading with your pinkies. Let's go for two more like this. And then we'll do alternating arms. So just one arm will plow down, lift it back up, second arm, and back up. By alternating sides, we're getting deeper into those obliques. Notice how your weight wants to shift from hip to hip. Avoid that little weight shift. Let's go for four. Three, two, one. Give your knees a little hug. That way you get a bit of a break, which means there's more coming. A break just means there's more. So let's again find tabletop, arms reaching long. This time, let's nod the chin and flex up and plow your arms. Just take an inhale and then exhale, lower right back down. So simple, like the first movement, but we're adding in flexion. Scooping up. Tuck that tail, draw the ribs down to the mat. Following up that lower back. Lifting up through the pelvic floor. We'll go for another three. Two. Last 
last one. And then again, hug your knees, a break. There's one more thing I wanna do up here. One to two. I'm not gonna promise just one more. So for this one, optional to come up into flexion. If your neck isn't loving flexion today, keep the head down. Otherwise, scoop up, plow your arms, hands are right next to your hips. From here, let's hold it. Exhale, send one arm to the side. Inhale back to your hip. Alternate. So you might need to loosen the grip on your band. You don't have to reach your arms open too wide. Mine are just going to about a 45 degree angle to the side. Good, keep that chin tucked. Keep those ribs drawing down to the mat. Let's try five. You've got the strong abs. Four. Three. Keep that abdominal connection. Finish evenly. Lower the head. If you'd like, you can untangle the band off of your legs. Feet can find the floor. And maybe just bring your feet wide on the mat. Bring your arms open to the sides, elbows bent, palms facing up like a cactus. And then let your knees sway off to one side. Take an inhale. Exhale. Come back through center and then take it over to the second side. Inhale. Let's do that one. It's one to each side. Take your time, work at your own pace. Okay. Now let's flip over to our bellies. Keep your flex being close by. That's our prop of the day after all. But I think let's start the way you just had your arms while you were on your back there. So we'll have elbows wide to the sides. Your hands are just elbows bent. Hands are reaching wide. Now up to you if you have parallel legs or laterally rotated, whatever feels best. Squeeze your glutes just a little. Find a sense of imprint. From here, let's work with keeping the elbows down and just lift your head with your hands. And then inhale, lower down. Exhale, head and hands go up. So you're finding a slight thoracic extension. Inhale, lower. It won't be a huge range of motion. You're working on thoracic extension and external shoulder rotation. So you should have your elbows right out to the sides in line with your shoulders. So they're not tucked in by your sides, but they're wide today. We'll go for a few more like this. Feeling your shoulders opening up. Shoulder blades drawing down your back. Two more. Okay. From there, let's grab that flex band and drape it across the hips. So just kind of where your bum meets your legs. Arms long by your sides. And you'll have palms down with your pinkies right next to your hips. So you've already got the slightest bit of tension on your band. Nose is hovering, shoulders are relaxed forwards. Your first step with this one is to retract those shoulders and set them into place. Second step is to lift into that small extension and give those hands a little pull out to the sides. Inhale, hold at the top, exhale, lengthen back down. Let your shoulders round forwards again. Inhale, retract into place. Exhale, lift, pull on that band. Take your inhale and exhale back down. 
listening to your body. You're only working within the range of motion that feels right for you. Making sure the back of your neck is long. So you'll probably never be looking past the end of your mat because that way you're creasing into the back of your neck. My eye gaze is only a couple inches forward of where I started. Good. Go for two more. Okay, after that last one, let's just rest the forehead on the hands. And then let's do a little bit of our hip extension to give our upper backs a break. Lift one leg, lower, lift the second leg. So we're working with straight legs here. You got it. Stabilizing your hips on the mat. Can you keep that equal tension, equal weight on each hip? Five. Shoulders are relaxed. You're isolating this to the glutes. Three. Just make sure you finish evenly, finishing your last one or so here. Okay. Now grab your band. Take that in your hands with, with the arms reaching long above your head. So you have the band in your hands with your hands shoulder distance apart long above you. From here, you're in a slight extension away from the mat, nothing big at all, you're just hovered. Shoulders wide. Let's add in the arm to what you were just doing. Opposite arm and leg lift. Give that band a slight pull. Adjust your starting position on the band. Maybe you start with a little bit more band tension or a little less. My shoulders are staying level to one another and wide away from the ears. It's a slight range of motion. Torso is stable. It's just the shoulder joints and the hip joints moving. Eye gives us straight down to the floor. The crown of your head is reaching to the wall ahead. We'll go for four. Feel your core turning on for stability. Finish evenly. And then you can relax down for a second. Your last thing here, you're going to go back into that slight, slight extension as your starting position. You'll pull on the band and you'll look towards it as you anchor your other hand down on the floor. You'll reach forwards and you'll switch. So I'm gonna do a little side bending motion here through the torso pulling the elbow to my hip and looking towards it. So my shoulders are going to one side of that mat. Hips are staying stable though. See if you can find your obliques. It's like that same side bending motion that we started class with while we were seated on the band. That arm reaching overhead and taking it over. It's the same sort of thing here. Yeah, you've got it. Let's go for another four to five. Find your oblique, find that rib tip connection. It's not gonna be a crazy oblique burn, but see if you can activate it. Last two or three. And then when you're even, you can let go of the band, press back into a shell stretch. Ooh. Lots of back body work through that series. Take your time, swing side to side here maybe. 
Drop the head, release your neck. And then let's take your hands off to one side, hips to the opposite. So you're really stretching the side of your back. Big breath. And then you can switch to the second side. Nice big breath. And then back through center. Okay, now let's work your glutes a little bit more. We'll grab the band again, lots of band work. Now, this setup is a little bit tricky to get into, I find, but you're going to take the band and place it around your right foot, middle of the band around your foot. You'll hold each side of the band, one in each hand, and then four point kneeling. So you're going to place your knee down onto the mat. The band is staying in your hands there, okay? So you could even get into it kneeling and put the band around your foot like that and then just picture frame your knee like that. Whatever works best for you to get into it. Again, it's pretty tricky. Now, you'll already feel some tension on the band, but nothing too crazy. Shoulders draw down away from ears and then I want you to push a little bit away from the floor. Slight protraction, tight waist. Exhale, I want you to push that right leg long back behind you if you can. Inhale, bend it back in. Exhale, press it long. Now, this might not work with your flex band. You might not be able to fully extend your leg completely if you've got a really tight band. So don't worry about that. If you've got a tight band, just work within a range that is doable. These ones we have here are really nice and long. Tighten your waist, keep the hips level. You can lift the foot up behind you a little bit. You can find a little bit of hip extension as long as that doesn't cause you to arch your lumbar spine too much. Keep your spine stable and neutral. And keep those shoulders stable. Are they still away from your ears? We've got five more just like this. Long neck. Three. Are you feeling your glute? Hold your leg long on this last one. Now I want you to stabilize those hips and pulse up and down, nice and small. Five, four, three, two, one, lower down, and maybe take a shell stretch. We're switching legs. So the easiest way to switch legs might be to just put your other foot into the band right from there. Lower the knee, take the foot out. That might be the easiest for you, or you can do it however works, as long as we get there. Once you're back onto your hands and knees, again, reset your shoulders, slide the shoulders away from the ears, push away from the mat, just a little tight waist, and then exhale, strong leg extension. Ribs are drawn in towards the ceiling. Hips are level. If you had your hot cup of tea or hot cup of coffee on your tailbone, you wouldn't lose a drop. The inner crease of your elbows are sticking forwards. So you're rotating those arms externally within the sockets. Three. Maybe lifting the foot up a little higher as long as your spine can stay stable. Now reach back and keep your leg long. Pulse up and down, nice and small. Five, four, three, two, one. Lower the leg. And then you can let go of the band carefully. Shake out the wrist, shake out the shoulders. 
Feel free to do another shell stretch if that feels right for you. Okay. Now we'll take a break off of those hands and your knees. And we'll go into a bit of side glute work, glute knee. So another tricky position to get into, I find. We're going to basically just tangle our legs in the band. So you'll want to get set up with the knees bent in front of you. And then you'll take the center of your band across your shins. Once you have that across the shins, crisscross it behind the legs. And then you'll wrap it up above the knees on the thighs. And you don't need to tie the band. You can just twist it around itself once or twice. Your top hand is always going to end up holding on to the band. Now we've just made this little makeshift loop band here that's also adjustable. So if you find that your range of motion through external hip rotation is pretty small, or if your hips get tight or if your hips are weak, you could always loosen up the band tension. Or if you want a good glute burn, you can tighten up the tension and start with the legs a bit closer together. Okay, up to you. We're doing sideline work here. So whatever side you wanna start with, go ahead and lie down, knees are bent. We're doing some clamshell variations. So supporting your head, either with the elbow bent underneath you or arm long, or even a block or a pillow under your head. Feet are in line with the center of your hips, knees bent to 90 in front of you, tight waist. Find your little mouse hole. And then let's start by keeping the feet together. Exhale, open the top knee. Inhale, close. You can always adjust that band tension. I almost like this band setup better than loop bands because it's so adjustable and you can just personalize it. And it's kind of nice having the tension both up against the thigh and against the shin. Just watch that you're keeping that top hip stable. There'll be a tendency to roll it back. Five more just like this, regular old clamshells, squeezing into that top glute. Last two like this. And then you'll lift your foot up with your knee. Opening the leg and closing the leg. Good. Do you still have that little mouse hole space underneath you? Five more like this. You've got it. Two more. Then we'll lift up and we'll hold it. Dorsey flex your top ankle, toes to shin, pulse it back. Squeeze the glute, hold that shin up. Five, four, Three, two, one, lower the leg. I think we're strong enough to do one more variation. Let's bring the feet up to the ceiling and then we'll do our clamshells like that. Opening the knee, closing the knee. What you could even do, it's a little bit more complicated, but you could open the knees and then lower your bottom foot to the floor as you close the knees. So knees, feet together and then knees together. Feet together knees together. I find that this one really burns. We're going to get through it together though. Let's go for five, four, three, almost there, two, last one. Whew, okay, done with that side. The only thing is we have to switch it over to the second side and we can't take a break since we have this complicated setup. So swing your legs over or just flip over. If it's easier to just flip away from the screen, that's fine. 
Okay, let's do it. Lying down, making all of your little adjustments. Knees bent, feet in line with those hips. Make sure it feels the same as it did on the first side. And make sure your head is back in space too. I find it's easy to bring the head way forwards in these sideline positions. Mouse full space. Let's get it over with. Open that top knee, close the top knee. So your feet are staying connected for this first round. Good. We can do it. Last one like this. And then lift the shin. Your foot goes up with the knee. Moving right from the hip. Good. Holding that little mouse hole. Four. Three. Two. Last one, just like that, but we have to lift up one more time and hold it up there. Dorsey flex ankle for pulses. Pulse backwards, like you're pushing the wall behind you further away. We've got five, four, three, two, one. Lower the leg. We're almost there. We have that last movement. Let's start with the feet up to the ceiling. Exhale, open the knees. Now you might just keep the feet up to make it simple, or you might separate the feet as you close those knees. So feet together, knees together. Feet together, knees together. Still keeping your mouse hole spine is stable and long. We're almost there. We just have to do five more. I know it burns. Second side is always worse since our bottom leg is tired. Three, two, it's worth it. One more. Whew. Okay, drop that leg, untangle yourself, and you can lie down on your back. Take those legs completely out of that band, put that band off to the side. And then take one ankle over the opposite knee. Open that knee away from you. Now maybe start with your foot staying on the floor. Try swaying side to side like that. And then if you want, you can try hugging your thigh into your chest, bringing your, leg, your hand to the inside of your legs, right through that hole you've made. Now listen to your body. If it feels better to stretch with your foot sitting on the mat, feel free to do it that way. I find that it stretches a little differently having the foot down on the mat. Five more seconds, stretching out the side. Three, two, one, switch your legs. Open that knee away from you. Hug your thigh in. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, come on up. Let's grab your flex band and we'll do a little bit of a shoulder opener. So you could do this seated, standing, kneeling, whatever, it doesn't matter. You're just going to take the band up and behind you. I like to bend my elbows as I go through this and then just lift up above your head and then back behind you again. Now, the tighter you hold the band, 
the more your hands will want to go towards one another behind you, the deeper the stretch will be. Elbows can bend. Think about letting your hands go further back, letting your hands go closer towards one another. Five. Four. Three. Two. Last one, maybe hold it, take a big breath. And then you can set that band down in front of you. Now I'm going to add in one more quick stretch, kneeling. We'll do your kneeling hip flexor stretch. One foot comes forwards, tuck your tail, bring your knee towards your foot, your foot towards your knee. Now, by keeping your hip over top of the knee, depending on how tight you are, you might be feeling hip flexor, you might be feeling your thigh. I tend to feel more of my quad when I'm in this stretch compared to my hip flexor. So if you want to get deeper to the hip flexor, you could walk your foot forwards a little and let your hips open forwards a little. As long as you're keeping that tuck of your tail though, you don't need to go all the way down. A lot of us could probably go a lot further if we just let ourselves, but we might as well just keep our range smaller and focus on those little details to get a deeper stretch. Five, four, three, open a little bit more, two, one, and then we'll switch our legs. So starting with your hips stacked, tuck the tail, open the front of that thigh. I always love doing hip flexor stretches because I know all of us tend to get tight there. Especially these days, I feel like most of us are doing a lot of sitting. Maybe you open your hips forwards a little bit more, whatever you did on the first side. Five, four, pulling your pubic bone towards your heart. And then you can come out of that because you're all done. My class went by really fast today.